everyone, Smelly Josh here. It's good to see you again. So I have had a lot of people asking me the best way to play Pokemon Go from your computer or how to hack Pokemon Go without getting banned and so on. So I'm going to give you all the details on what's the best thing to do. But first of all, I don't really encourage this. I mean, just go outside and play. But if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. So let me show you the best way to do it. All right, let's get started. So first, let's get the game installed. We need to download an Android emulator to our computer. The one we are downloading already comes with Pokemon Go installed, along with the GPS hack and along with the joystick hack, joystick, <laughs> along with the joystick hack, allowing you to move around with your keyboard. This makes it very easy for everyone out there. So let's go to the website. So this is the website right here. And I'll have the link in the description below on how to get to this website. It's called BigNox.com. And as you can see, we are on the front page here. And uh, all you got to do is click on this download link. That's it. Let's click download. And your download will start looking or will start start looking. Why did I say that? Your download will start. It'll just start, guys. It's just going to start, right? So if it looks like this, you're in the right spot. Click download, and once it's done downloading, uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so my download is done. Mine appears here in the bottom left for me. Uh, I'm kind of in the way. Hold on, can I? Woo! Can I move for you? You see it right here. It's right here in the bottom left. Uh, for some people, you may need to go up here to the top right and click on downloads, and then you'll see it there. Or uh, in some Windows versions, you can go down here and you just type in downloads click on your downloads folder and then it'll pop up and then you'll see it in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on it. Hopefully you know how to find it. We'll start it. As you can see, I've downloaded like four of them while, while trying to uh, record this. Click yes. And then this will pop up. Whoops. This will pop up right here. This is what the installer looks like guys. And I already have it installed. I've been streaming on YouTube Live Pokemon Go from the computer. I do not want to reinstall it because I don't remember my password for my you for my Pokemon Go account, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. But it looks just like this and it just says install right here. All you do is click install and it will start installing. Once it is done installing, it will look like this. Let me open mine up. So okay, here we go. So I just opened it. When it's done installing, you'll see it look like this and you'll see a load bar, you know, loading it up. Okay, so our emulator is all loaded up and the very, very first time you turn on the emulator, Pokemon Go actually won't be there. You need to wait like seven seconds. Just stare at the screen for like seven seconds and then Pokemon Go will, will just pop up, magically appear. Um, so wait a couple of seconds and you'll see Pokemon Go pop up. You click it. We'll get it started. Oh, right. Okay, so let me tell you guys, you can get banned doing this, but not unless you play smart. So people who are getting banned are doing things like constantly teleporting their location, which I will show you how to do, but you don't want to do that. Doing that, they will know that you're hacking. They'll know that you're changing your location. Uh, you know fake artificially you're changing it over and over again and they will and they will ban you doing it that way we don't want to do that we don't want to do that the only way i play doing this is using the keyboard okay so you use w a s d to move around and uh as you can see right here you see this is the red thing is pointing north so w will always take you into the north direction always so when you press w you will always go north and uh, so when you when you move your screen around, it can be a little confusing. So I'm going to move my screen like this. And as you can see, that red arrow is pointing to the left now. So if I press up, if I press W, it's going to take me north, which is left. So you got to work off the way the compass faces. Whoa, look at all these jinxes here. Wait, let me catch. Let me catch a jinx real quick, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. I hope you guys don't mind. So as you can see, uh, this is actually a good example. It works just fine on the computer. You can catch Pokemon. You can go to Pokestops and, and get stuff from the Pokestops. Everything works just fine. And just caught a Jinx. That's pretty cool. Let's catch this other one too. 
Okay, guys, sorry I had to catch those the uh, those Pokemon right there. But uh, so I showed you that catching the Pokemon works. Let me show you that the Pokestops work as well. So let's go to a Pokestop. Oh, I'm actually at one already. So we're gonna click on this one right here. Spin spin the wheel. And as you can see, I'm getting items from from the Pokestop. So they do work. So everything works. Let me show you how to teleport in the map. You wanna click this button. Um, this one right here, this little circle thing, it says virtual location. You click on it, and when you click on it, it will show you where you are initially. So we are at the Santa Monica Pier in California. And when you do start, it puts you in Sydney. It puts you in Sydney when you do start. Uh, so, anyways, we don't want to be there, so we weren't there. If you want to go somewhere, let's say we want to go to Los Angeles, California. Type in LA. Uh, California you hit geocode boom boom there we are we're there right now but we're not actually there yet you got to go down here to the bottom and click OK once you hit OK it will teleport you there in Pokemon Go I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to teleport anywhere right now I don't I don't want to use it um, so I'm not gonna do it but that is how you do it and if you do that too much or if you go too far like if you go from California to Japan or whatever, or to, you know, somewhere across the world in a couple minutes, you are gonna get banned. Um, that's just how it is. If you wanna teleport somewhere, I suggest that you close Pokemon Go, you open up this map, and you, you set your location there, right? And then you wait a couple hours and then open up Pokemon Go. So that way, Pokemon Go sees that you were in California, that you closed your Pokemon Go, in a couple hours that you are somewhere else so it'll just assume that you maybe you maybe took a plane somewhere right that you flew somewhere but if you just teleport you know hours and hours away instantly while you're in the game they're gonna ban they ban you they just they know they ban you so don't do that just use the joystick just walk around only teleport like once a day and you know do it smart don't don't do something unbelievable right Okay, so I think that is pretty much it. One more thing, if you want it to run better, click on this little cog up here, go to advanced, and there's performance settings right here. Um, usually I have mine on, I have, a, I have it customized. We'll just leave it on a high right now. You can change the number of CPUs, how much RAM and all that stuff. You can change how big the screen is right here. If you have a really, really good video card, I think you wanna use this. The DirectX. Um, yeah, so settings right here for making it run better. And I think that's it, guys. So I showed you that you can catch Pokemon, go to Pokestops, how to install it, use the map, keyboard. Uh, told you how not to get banned. Don't be dumb. And I think that's it. This is the best way to play from the computer without getting banned. As long as you just walk around with your keyboard you're not gonna get banned and it's very easy. So uh, I hope this helped you guys. If y'all have any more questions, just leave a comment. I'll answer your questions and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, thanks for watching, bye.